Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Eustis, Florida, where a woman was pulled over for a seatbelt violation, but it turns out there's far more to this equation than meets the eye. Turns out, she's a sovereign citizen who claims that she won a court case in the Supreme Court uh, regarding the right to travel without a license. But she really doesn't have any proof to show for it, and really gets arrested because of no tag, no license, or anything like that. So let's go ahead and sit back Relax and enjoy the show. Hi, Hello. I'm Sergeant Brown, Eustis PD. The reason why I stopped because you're not wearing your seatbelt. Do you have your license registration on you, ma'am? I'm sorry, is that, um, I'm sorry. I just took my seatbelt off. You didn't oh, have it on. Yes, I did. Mm -mm. Yes, I did. Mm -mm. Yes, I did. Mm -mm. You're going to have to, <laughs> I just took it off. I wear my seatbelt. Actually, I, I yell at everybody for not wearing their seatbelt. Uh, yeah, uh-huh, okay, uh, yeah, okay, whatever. Yeah, sure, you uh, yell at everybody else for not wearing their seatbelts. Yeah, and uh, why don't you yell at everybody else who's not a soft tar like you? Outstanding. Do you have your license on you, ma'am? Um, I'm not going to do this this morning. <laughs> Dude, we're not from here. So, uh, I know you guys are from, from Michigan. Here. I saw the tag. Do you have your passport on you or some sort of ID? I left it at the fucking house. It's not even on me. Okay, no worries. I got mine. He's got his. Okay. Do you have I'm it? on my way to church right now. Okay. Thanks, man. Yep. Do you have do you actually have a, a DL? What do you mean? I don't need a driver's license in America, actually. Just yeah, to be honest with you, I don't. You? I've already won this in court. Fantastic. Huh, uh, oh, really? Huh? Uh, you won this in court. I would like to see the court case because, you know, uh, here in Florida, and it's been my personal experience since I live in Florida, have for most of my life, that, yeah, you definitely do need a driver's license, you definitely need insurance, and you definitely need to get your vehicle registered. In fact, I know for a fact that they'll come after you if you fail to register your vehicle properly. I made that mistake a few months ago after I bought a vehicle off my former landlord and forgot to register it in time, and they sent me a rather threatening letter over it. In fact, they threatened to cancel my driver's license over it. But you know what? It was a simple mistake I made, so I rectified the situation by uh, registering my vehicle properly. Yeah, I was definitely wearing my seatbelt. Well, I'll have to subpoena those uh, videos. What's your first name, ma'am? Ma'am, what's your first name? What? Your first name? It, but I'm trying to figure out what crime I committed for you to ask me that. And there is a Florida statute for that as well right here because, well, they've been going hard on, uh, uh, dri on driving without a seatbelt over the past few years. So if you're going through Florida, you better click it or tick it because they will get you if they spot you. Not wearing your seatbelt, ma'am. That's not a crime. That's a, It's a that's traffic a violation, ma'am. It's actually a civil infraction. <laughs> Which I can pull you over for, yes. Um, no, I was wearing my seatbelt, though. We're having a dispute here. Ha I was wearing it, and you're saying We're having wasn't. a dispute here. So, so here... You can't, you can't uh, tell me I was, wear I was you, not wearing it. Can you can you settle down for a second here? Here's, 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 here's how it's going to play out. I'm going to verify everything. And I'm just going to cut you a traffic warning and be on my merry way. That was my whole plan, just to be honest with you. Not to get into a long, drawn-out argument about whatever. I'm just going to verify that you have a license or whatever that says you can drive in the state of the United States. Once that's clean and valid, I'm out of here. That is my plan. All right. What's your first name, Mama? It's Dixie. Dixie. Miss Dixie. Okay. And your birthday? <sighs> It's uh, it's in August. August what? Wow, I cannot wait to tell my professor this. Okay, and the year? We have to do all this over travel. Yeah, because I don't have her DL or I don't a need passport. A DL, but I just told you. You that. need an I identification in the though. Court. Right. I don't, don't have, have to have, have a super, yeah. I don't have to. To have verify an your identity, yes, you do. No, I don't. That's okay, so whatever you say, but I need. What's your what's your your uh date of birth? Here's my passport. Oh, perfect. Twenty-five. I was looking for my, my passport ID, but I only have my passport. All right, thank you, Miss Dixie. You're welcome. Also, um, by any chance, do you have the registration? Uh, this is my husband's truck. Okay. 
Do you have the registration or anything that has a VIN on it? <laughs> we, okay, we no do worries. Things I've, different. Never, I've never been pulled over before. Okay. Honestly. Yeah, <laughs> and I had my seatbelt on. Okay, hey guys. So all she has is her passport. Well, the truck's not registered, so. It's not even registered? I can't even get anything back on the tag. There's nothing for it. It's not registered. Great. Okay, uh, so the truck is not registered, so guess what? If they don't produce anything that says it's registered and uh, any or anything like that, yeah, the vehicle is going to get towed. That's Florida law right there. Oh, and by the way, Softard, uh, if you don't believe any of this, I suggest you check out the Florida statutes on the on the website because they're readily available and easy to read. But if you also don't believe that, I suggest you take a look at the Tenth Amendment, which grants the states the right to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution. And guess what? There's so much that's not covered in the Constitution. I mean, you'd be surprised if you actually read it. Okay. Here's where we're at. Step out over here real quick. Found you. You don't have your license suspended. Out of mine? Yeah. Can't find you. And we can't even find the truck. It's like, it's not even registered. So I'm going to run the VIN real quick. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we, have, like access, from we have access from, away. we have access in the, in the database of all the states, but I'm going to run the VIN and see what we get. That's where we're at. Hello. What's going on? How's it going? This guy said, you know, give us a fucking warning so we can get to church. You know, I'll be late. Yeah, unfortunately, There's whatever identification you guys are providing is not coming back. I don't know if I told you that. Uh, you said, it's a federal you can't ID. Find me. It's a federal ID. I understand that, but in, you guys need to have at least I'm a state ID. I'm actually going security school. You don't I'm like going for my bachelor's associates. That's not true. Oh, you're going for your bachelor's associates. Well, uh, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it's not called a bachelor's associates. I mean, you've got your associate's degree, you've got your bachelor's degree, then you've got your master's degree, and then you've got your PhDs and doctorates and everything like that. And, and in order to get your bachelor's degree, you pretty much got to have your associate's degree beforehand in many cases. So uh, I'm willing to bet in this case that... You probably aren't going for diddly squat, you dumbass, because, well, uh, I really doubt that a, a professor in Homeland Security would actually say that you don't need a driver's license in the United States because, well, they would be uh, quite wrong on that and could be proven wrong very easily. And even if you had uh, an associate's degree right before you got your bachelor's degree, you should be able to at least research this on your own because they do take teach you basic research skills at an associate's degree level, you moron. What are you talking about? I understand that, but you are required to have a driver's license. No, you're not. Okay. That's right. Title 18, what Section 31, brother. I know what the he's I know a, what the words he's a lawyer. are. Okay. That's why we got a passport. It actually says on there to not detain. And I've, I've, I've been if, pulled over. If, if I'm correct, a few, a few different times, never have a problem. It's always freaking for. Uh, yeah, you're about as much a lawyer as I am, an official United States astronaut yeah because i've always wanted to go to space does that mean that i am an astronaut nope certainly doesn't mean it miss dixie, dixie. Uh, i don't want to talk to you about the problem okay yeah we're not finding it at all well i don't know what to tell you they're on a paper system okay <laughs> and what is this guy talking about a, a passport is it uh, an idea of his formal identification is not a form for a license to operate a motor vehicle. Yeah, but we're not a resident of the state of Florida. You still have to have a license to operate a vehicle in the state of Florida. Okay. Go ahead, okay. you said. I actually am getting my bachelor's here from Homeland Security. That's what I'm saying. Are you on the road? Are you Okay, first of all, that would be like calling somebody black. Yes, it is. Just ask me, though, because that's a discriminating comment. No, no, that's just, uh... Apples to oranges argument, false equivalency fallacy through and through. But in the case of a sovereign citizen, if the shoe fits, you should definitely wear it because, well, you have all the sovereign citizen jargon down at this point. So, yeah, you definitely are a sobtard. And, uh, yeah, uh, go ahead and uh, stop with the uh, bachelor's associates thing because... 
Well, anybody who has a degree, a bachelor's degree, associate's degree, or any other degree, like myself, a uh, cam cammed up caveman, proved that to everybody a long time ago, uh, already knows, yeah, that you're lying right there. You just asked me if I was a solver. Everybody is a solver. Why? I would like the OIC. Uh, Cody, why are you arresting me? Good, arrest me. I hope you arrest me. Call Kathy right now. Get my attorneys on the phone. Okay. 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 I'm not resisting anything. You just pulled me backwards. Step inside, watch your head. I am pregnant. Can you fucking Sit move the handcuffs? It is the law. You cannot handcuff me behind my back. Thank you. Yeah, once again, citation needed, please, because everything else you've said is a bunch of BS to begin with. So please provide your citations. You're supposed to be in college. You should know to provide your citations. You should know to say where you can get the information from. That's something they teach in English 1101 and English 1102 to get your associate's degree within the state of Florida, you blooming moron. So why don't you provide your citations? Guys. All right. My guys are not being aggressive. Your wife is taking things up a notch, unfortunately. But and, and this is where this is where we're coming from. She doesn't have a driver's license. Okay. But she's not driving. No, she was she was driving. That's what I'm saying. I saw her drive. I'm telling you we're not driving. Traveling. Okay, you're traveling, whatever you want to call it, but she does not have a valid driver's license. You're it now. Are being so here's the right, deal. Put your now you're charge resisting. What? You're being charged resisting as well. I'm not putting up I the bullshit. I didn't resist. I was backwards. Put How could I left, resist? Put your left foot in. Not lawfully obeying to command. To? What is the first command? I told you to go to the car. Why would you Walk put me here. and detain me? Because you're being arrested. Put your left foot but in for now. what? I already explained to you. Operating a motor vehicle in the state of Florida without a flower That license. is not your... Auto, that is okay. not a vehicle. Watch your knee. Your My vehicle. passport says put do not side. detain me. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, your passport says do not detain. Funny how my passport doesn't say do not detain. I guess you must be freaking lying again. Cody, let me ask you. I'm going to be honest with you, man. Yeah. Okay, let me ask you a question, okay? okay. Are you guys like sovereign citizens? No, of course not. Okay. We're just Americans I, that stand up for, you know, our rights. Okay, and I'm, and I'm totally fine with that. Okay. I respect that by all means. It's okay. I don't mean to, like, insult you by asking that question. Okay. But the certain the certain language that was being used, it, it kind of had me like a little concerned. Okay. You guys are tra you guys are traveling, but you yeah. you guys you guys gotta have a driver's license. You can't have a passport and stuff for ID purposes. In Florida, yeah, it is for ID purposes. For ID purposes, but for driving a motorized vehicle in the states, you need a you need a traveling. You need a you need a driver's license. You do not need a driver's license to travel. Yes, you do. We all have the right to travel. It's just that the mode of transportation is the issue. You see, if you're going to be driving a machine the size of a car, which can potentially harm, kill, or injure in any way, shape, or form people or property, you need to be licensed and insured to ensure that well, if you do cause any damage that uh, you can, in, with through your insurance, pay to have the damages rectified. And you certainly need a driver's license to operate a motor vehicle in every state in the union if you're going to be traveling on the public roadways, you blooming moron. All right, ma'am. A female officer, pat you down, make sure you don't have anything. Okay, this is an abuse of power, person. and it's I will be. Power. It's, it's okay, let her pat it's me our down. Policy. Let her pat me down. All you right. can go you ahead can and pat me down, ma'am. Right over here. There you go. I have the right to remain uh, silent, yes. and that's what I choose yes. to do. So from now on, you will not get my fingerprints. You will not get anything. Okay. Do you have anything on you, gun strokes? No, I don't have anything on me. Anything. Okay. Anything. I'm just pat you down go ahead. Do you have anything in your I don't have anything in my bra but, okay, but my boobies. Sure. Oh my god, I cannot wait to file a lawsuit against the Eustis Police Department. You do not go to jail for traveling through the state of Florida. You need a driver's license. No, you do you not. No, I've vehicle. already won that with section and, and case law. God damn it, I'm in Homeland Security store. Are you guys kidding me? I, don't. I could, so I could be a boss in another so three years. Yet. 
it's in the middle of teaching me that okay. this craft is craft. Okay. Tony, call Kathy. Tell her to get here now. My children are with somebody else, you stupid idiot. Watch your head. I can't even believe you guys. Watch your knee. Some... What'd she do? So they're trying to walk her to the car and she's yelling and screaming and purposely tripped herself down on the ground to make it look like we were being physical. Sovereign citizen? Yeah, the terms that they're using. Traveling. Traveling. I don't contract with the government. Um, we don't need a driver's license. We have our passports. You guys are like on your high horse, like authority type. The language is all there. Yeah, I noticed that. Sunday, people are supposed to be happy. Not her. She's, she's far from happy right now. I need you to take her to the PD. She's in my car right now. Oh, she is? Yeah. Okay, all right. I mean, what trade places then. Now, if you want to have the I'm truck, if you want the truck moved church, to the church, the you can do that with the with the tow truck company. Okay. Do what? Yeah, I'm gonna call the tow truck company, but I still don't want them to remove my my, my plate. That's my metal, man. Come on. I have to. It's. What do you mean? It's a, it's not assigned to the truck. You have to have the tag and the vehicle registered together. Show, but show me. Okay, if it's not registered, okay, you can cannot you be driving that? this car. Can you show, I'm not driving. I'll have this one of my officers show you the statute, it. okay? You can show me the statute, but I've already won this. If you look up my wife's name mm -hmm. in the state of Florida, like two years ago, bro, we just went through this. Okay. West Palm Beach, look it up. Everything dismissed. She, they tried giving her like 38 tickets. How much you guys went out of that? Uh, I think I settled for about 25. 25 mil? Thousand. Thousand? No, I, come on. I don't, I don't do all that, that. I'm not a greedy person. I just oh, want yeah. people to know like where, where it's coming. Where is this case at? Because if that kind of thing had actually happened, where a, a judge or the Supreme Court had said that we don't need a license to drive, that would be all over the news. And people would toss their driver's licenses in the garbage. But no news reports have come up saying that. So where are, are the uh, citations that you should be providing on this court case? Because I certainly would like to see them. You know, instantly you're like the sovereign citizen thing. That's where everybody always goes to that. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I looked it up. A sovereign citizen is just a, a peace officer, man. It's just a civilian. You know, and you're having a sovereign right because you're trying to protect people and all this and that. But there's no injury. No, there isn't. Nobody did anything to anybody or anything no, else. And I, no, and I and like you this. You claim that there wasn't a seatbelt. I said, you know, there was a seatbelt. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe the shades or something, you know, are seeing it. My wife's a little bit heftier. You know what I mean? So maybe you didn't see the, the strap, but she was wearing it, man. You know what I mean? You know, I really doubt everything that's coming out of your uh, pie hole right now, dude, because throughout this entire situation, both of you have been lying. She lied about getting a degree because she kept on saying bachelor's associate. It's either the bachelor's or the associate's degree. You get the associate's first, then you get on to your bachelor's degree, and then you go forward from there. And then there's the claim of you being a lawyer. That is, well, very fallacious right there. Because it seems like you don't know the law at all. I mean, I, I will not continue on because I've already covered it in the other parts of the video. But damn, dude, there was just no truth told by either of you throughout this video. It is freaking insane. But at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?